Hello and welcome to Long's Toys. I have some more transformable eggs to review for you today. But the funny thing is, these are actually from Bandai of America. Uh, these are called Hatchin Heroes. You can see they're put out by Bandai, which is the same company that puts out the Japanese ones. If we look on the uh, back here, you can see the egg turns into Woody and the egg turns into Buzz. Now, I found these at Toys R Us, and they were in a display with some of the Finding Nemo ones, and I've also seen pictures online of the Baymax ones from Big Hero 6. As far as I can tell, they are exactly the same as the Japanese ones that I've reviewed. Uh, I was lucky to find these because the site I buy the Japanese eggs from was always sold out of Woody and Buzz, so finding them in America gave me a new opportunity to get a hold of them, which is pretty awesome. So I grabbed these, and I just think it's pretty cool that they must have done really well in Japan, that they have brought them over here. So at least for the Disney ones, I don't know about Godzilla or Ultraman, probably not, but at least for the Disney ones, it does seem that they have been brought over here to America. So if you're a fan of these, go to Toys R Us. Uh, it's the only place I've seen them so far, but maybe they'll be a Target or other plus such places in the near future. But anyway, we'll get these guys out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so we're taking a look first here at Woody. And as you can see, you can pretty much see his whole chest and, and legs here, and then the legs are around the back. Very simple transformation. Just flip the legs around here. Do that on both sides. And then you're going to flip the feet forward, and then he'll stand. And I'm going to zoom out a bit here. Then you're going to flip the whole head section around. That's going to snap into place, and then just revolve the head around 180. And then you can put the arms forward as much or as little as you like. One thing to note, uh, right here at the waist, it kind of gives a little bit. But it's not really a joint. It's just, I guess it's just meant to give so it doesn't snap while you're moving the head around. Because it clicks in pretty tight and everything. So just be careful of that because I thought it was kind of a joint at first. And I tried to move it a little bit too much. I don't want to break it. So, But I think Woody looks pretty, pretty good. I mean, especially from his eggs uh, form, he gets like doubled in size from the front he looks great a little bit from the side <laughs> just because of how his legs work it's not terrible but it makes him look like his knees bend the wrong way he looks kind of like an alien or something but i mean just looking straight on from the front of the back you don't really see that so it doesn't look that bad from the front i think he looks pretty good but from the side it's just a little funny he does have kind of a, a holster here for a gun but he obviously doesn't have a gun but I think overall he does look pretty good. I think they did a really nice job with the head sculpt and the hat and everything. And just overall he looks good. Alright, so next up here we have Buzz. And as you can see he kind of is more convincing as an egg. Really nice detail, nice paint everywhere. Even though these are American versions I feel like they definitely didn't skimp out on any paint apps. He's very simple. You just open him up like this. You're going to flip the legs out on both sides like that. Come under here, and you can see the hands underneath. You're going to just spin them out, just like that. Then you're going to lift the head up, and then close this back down. Now, he is a little bulbous, kind of Humpty Dumpty-ish, but he is an egg after all. So I think he does look pretty good. I'm going to get in close so you can see the detail like on like the paint apps. And there's not stickers. These are all paint apps. Here on the arm for the laser, and over here, and everything on here. It says light year, which looks really good. And now come around to the back. You can pull the wings out if you like, just like Buzz can. You don't really see them that much from the back, but they are there. Or you can retract them, just like Buzz can. So sometimes he has them out, sometimes he does not. I think that's a nice touch. Also, this is also really cute. They have Andy written on the boot underneath. And I forgot to show that on, on Woody, but he has it as well. I think that's really cute that they put that detail in to add Andy because he writes his name on the bottom of all his toys. So I think that's really cool. I really like these a lot. I think it's hilarious how much taller Woody is than Buzz. But in the movies, he was taller than Buzz. Probably not this much taller. I think Woody looks a little bit better as far as He's proportioned the right way as far as he's, you know, thin like he's supposed to be and tall. He just has the legs look a little weird from the side. Whereas uh, Buzz is a little bit shorter than he probably needs to be and just a little bit thicker because of the egg. 
But I still think they both look good. They're a lot of fun. I think they're nice representations of the characters. And I was really excited to find these in America at a Toys R Us. It's really cool that they've decided to bring them over. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing any of the other lines, but at least for the Pixar Disney ones, I've seen these, I've seen Finding Nemo, and I've seen pictures online of someone finding the Big Hero 6, the two versions of Baymax. So at least with the Pixar ones, they are coming over, and it looks like they will be available at Toys R Us. So if you love these and you just didn't want to go through the hassle of importing them, Head on over to Toys R Us and grab them. They're actually about the same price. I think they're $6.99 at Toys R Us, wherein the Japanese ones are around $5 to $7 before shipping. So you don't even have to pay for shipping. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Toy Story Hatch and Heroes, Buzz and Woody. And thanks for watching.